Hey, hey you guys, welcome to Sunshine Haze. I am Aja A. As you see tarot cards on your screen, you know it's time for a reading. Um, we are back to the regularly scheduled program <laughs> in true Mercury retrograde fashion. So these are going up a little late, I apologize. Um, but these are for the Scorpio lunar cycle, so we are talking November, December. Um, this video is for Virgo, Virgo Sun, Virgo Moon, and Virgo Rising. So before I even get started, if you feel like what I'm saying in this video is not resonating with you, that means this video is not for you, go on and check out your moon and or rising sign. And I do have a link to a playlist with all of those videos down in the description box below. Um, with that being said, I also have the Scorpio lunar cycle video out as well, talking about the energy that we'll be dealing with for the month. So check that out too. Um, got the retrograde series. I would definitely look at Mercury retrograde video and um, the Venus retrograde, although we are out of the Venus retrograde, we are still in the shadow period. And then what else? What else is going on? Um, full moon in Gemini. What else? Uh, oh, and also Jupiter going into Sagittarius. I do have a video out on that as well. Go on, check out all those videos. Check out all the links. <laughs> All right, you guys, as I was saying, this video is for Virgo. This is for the Scorpio lunar cycle, talking November to December. Um, this is going to be the typical five card spread. So looking at the energies popping up for you, Virgos, during this time, looking at any crossing energies. Because we are dealing with Scorpio lunar energy, we're gonna be looking at any truths or secrets being revealed, where you're gonna be gaining clarity, and then also um, where you need to devote a little bit more of your passionate energy. And then as always, a little soul message something extra for you guys to take away with you from this reading okay all right let's go in and shuffle this other deck and get it popping Ten of Pentacles just flew out as I'm shuffling. I was literally almost done. I hate when this happens. No, I love when this happens. This is a very positive, very highly vibrational energy. Um, this is a Pentacles card. So we're dealing with our foundational shits uh, like finances, career, relationships sometimes, foundations. Um, it's Pentacles, earth, earth element. Um, and this is a card of financial abundance, of stability of just having your shit together and being just completely happy so this card flying out virgo is saying that you know this scorpio lunar season might actually be really hella popping for y'all at least on the money front or at least in regards to you know like where you're living like maybe moving i don't like to talk about moving during mercury retrograde but like if you're making plans on like making changes to your foundations this scorpio lunar cycle is a really good time to at least think about it and start planning i would i will at least say that the deck mm, very well I like y'all spread I'm with it I'm with the shits, and I ain't got no kind of Virgo nothing. Actually, no, my Jupiter is in Virgo, but, like, I'm kind of with it. <laughs> and I ain't listen. I'm happy for y'all. <laughs> okay, Virgo, the first card that you guys have coming up in your spread is the Heaven and Earth card, and that's coming up in the position of um, the energy. What energy is coming in for you, or what energy do you need to be tapping into during the Scorpio lunar cycle? And, um... This is a card of alignment. A lot of the signs have been getting either the card of choice or alignment cards like masculine, feminine, or emotion and intellect or heaven and earth. Um, this card more so talks about realigning the physical with the spiritual. So Virgo, you guys are earth. You guys are very practical, very analytical. You guys are very goal and plan oriented. And I, from your spread, I already kind of more so pick up on the sense of like career and finances for you. 
So this card is telling me that Virgo, although you put a lot of energy and devote a lot of energy into planning things out, making sure that things go the way that they're supposed to be, sometimes you can be too earth. You can be too just solely focused in tunnel vision. I think that this card is saying, hey, Virgo, during this time, you are going to still be focusing on your foundations. You are still going to be building. You are still going to be working on things. But you are also going to be coming into this position of where you also feel spiritually aligned and called to and in alignment with the things that you're doing. So for a lot of you, I pick up on this like energy of starting your own business. I don't know why that's coming in so strong. So maybe a lot of you Virgos have been trying to like venture out and do your own thing. I strongly pick up on that coming through during this Scorpio season for you, um, whether either it's the planning or the start of starting a business, if that makes sense, or starting a change or getting your hands more or becoming more hands on with whatever you do, if that makes sense. Um, this is the energy you guys are coming into, just becoming aligned, really feeling like you're walking in your soul's purpose, really doing the things that you're supposed to be doing, feeling happy about what you do, liking what you do, really just living your best life. And this is a card of alignment, coming into alignment with what you do and how you resonate on a higher level. And this is a positive energy. This is a good energy to be coming in for you, tapping in for you, okay? And that's it for that. <laughs> Um, the next card that you guys have coming up is the Sun of Wands, and this is in the position of the crossing energy for you during this uh, lunar cycle. Um, this is a court card, so I'm going to read this in two ways for you, Virgo. First, generally, uh, actually, first, let me read it as in the court, as, as a court card. Um, the Sun of Wands. So reading this as a court card, this could literally be a person crossing the energy that you're supposed to be tapping into. So with this being a card of alignment, if we're talking about the court card being a person, this could be an Aries, a uh, uh, Leo, or a Sag, somebody who carries a little bit more. And when I say masculine, I don't mean manly, but just carries a little bit more of an aggressive energy. Um, um, and not necessarily in a bad way, but because this is a crossing energy, if we're talking about a person, this could be somebody that you're feeling is throwing you off balance. And you may not even be able to place what it is, but this could be somebody that is truly honestly just making you feel off or making you feel like, you know, being around them or kicking it with them just makes you feel like you're not doing something right or you're not supposed to be around them. And it's not necessarily because they're bad people. Sometimes our energies just clash. This is an earth energy and this is fire. They do not go together. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like those are not compatible energies. So some of you may be dealing with a fire sign individual who you're just dealing with very closely and you're just feeling like this is not it or you're just feeling like uh being around you makes me feel off or like i'm just not feeling this right now and it's just literally the energy now on the other hand the son of wands is uh a card that carries and brings in the energy of this suit. And so wands is fire energy, that is action, that is drive, that is motivation, that is, you know, will. You are supposed to be tapping into this energy of alignment, of aligning yourself in the physical and in the spiritual, of becoming just completely happy. What I get for this card is the feeling of being content, the feeling of feeling like things are okay and like you have everything together, right? The Son of Wands being a crossing energy coming up for you guys during this next month is really telling me that, Virgo, for a lot of you, um, you may know what it is that needs to be done or you may understand what makes you happy or what you need to do or what changes you need to make, but you may not necessarily want to make them or you may be feeling a little lethargic. You may be just like, eh, I don't really want to do that or maybe like, oh, I'll do this later. I'm going to do this later and keep putting it off and putting it off and putting it off, right? Um... As I say for a lot of these uh, lunar cycle spreads, these crossing energies are very much so energies that we should try to turn into upright positions so that they can become supporting energies. The Son of Wands can very much so be turned into an upright position during this uh, during this lunar cycle. Um, because really what I get is just a sense of uh, laziness, like a sense of, hesita a sense of hesitation here with the Son of Wands being a crossing position. It's just kind of like the final step and you kind of want to chill, if that makes sense. You don't really have the drive or the motivation to make the moves to ensure that you're aligned. You just want to be aligned, if that makes sense. But 
as I've been saying to a lot of my clients, as this has been coming up in my readings for myself as well, we can manifest, we can intend, we can think about shit all we want, but things do not shift, things do not change, we do not see the results that we want to see unless we're putting in the work for those results, so... You do have to make moves, Virgo. You can't just be earth and be chilling. Like, you're going to have to make moves to ensure that you are able to tap into that aligned energy, okay? All right, the next card that I have coming up for you guys is in the position of what's coming to light for you, what truths are being revealed, where are you going to gain some clarity? And you've got the Two of Wands. The Two of Wands is a card that carries the energy of having a sense of direction, of knowing the path that you're about to go down, of understanding the journey, which is funny because you have the journey card in your spread. This is coming up in the position of what's coming to light for you. So Virgo, this is why I was saying I was feeling that like entrepreneurial energy when I was uh, shuffling, especially with that 10 of pentacles falling out. That is just a card of like just having everything together, having those foundations together and being very happy and feeling very fulfilled and abundant in whatever it is that you're doing. Um, the two of wands coming up in the position of, you know, where you're going to start to see things or where there's going to be some clarity or where things are going to be coming to light. I think for you, Virgo, especially those of you that have been trying to make a shift in your careers or trying to, you know, better your finances or trying to move, we're talking foundational things or trying to, you know, really stabilize or ground your relationships. I think this card coming up is saying that, okay, Virgo, listen. During this next lunar cycle, the things that you need to know, the energies that you need to tap into, the direction that you need to take, the path that you need to walk down will present itself to you, either by way of y'all tapping into y'all's little analytical superpowers and figuring it out, or it will literally just present itself to you um, in the way that the universe and God does sometimes. It just depends. But this two of wands energy is really like these two wands literally are pointing towards something, Virgo. You are coming into or you will actually at least be able to see and understand what your end goal is um a lot a lot of the time virgo you guys are so analytical that you think about the process a lot and sometimes you don't necessarily always think about the end goal you more so focus a lot on the process this two of wands is really coming up and saying okay virgo y'all are good with the process here's a glimpse of where the process is going to take you and it's bomb energy it looks like it's going to be a, a really pop and hella pop and path um, I'm excited for you, Virgos. This is coming in. This is saying like, yes, you're going to have the direction. You're going to know. You're going to understand exactly what needs to be done, exactly what you need to do, exactly how you need to move, exactly where you need to go to make everything happen that you want to happen. I always say this. We do have the power to manifest our own destiny. This Two of Wands card is the card of manifesting your own destiny, Virgo. That's the energy that's coming up for you or that will be presented to you during this time. And that energy is also going to help you with falling into alignment with your true, your true self, okay? Whew, winded. Anytime I feel winded, I'm like, I must be kicking game. So I hope that that message touched somebody's little Virgo heart. The next card that you guys have coming up in your spread is the Six of Pentacles. And that's coming up in the position of where you need to devote a little bit more of a passionate energy. Um, and it's so funny. This is the card of budding work, of budding foundations, of, of things growing. It's a card of growth, right? Um, and I don't even want to say budding. This is a little bit past budding. This is actually the card of growth, of things growing up, becoming successful. This is where you need to devote some energy. It's so funny that you have a spread that's saying, like, you guys are kind of just dealing with a little bit of laziness, and that could be something going on in, like, in the cosmos. I have to look a little bit further into it. But, like, literally your crossing energy is not wanting to make moves, right? Not wanting to make moves to be in alignment. In order for your businesses or for your ideas to grow, you have to be in alignment. In order for you to go down a path that you've set up for yourself, in order for your business to grow, you have to be in alignment. So you need to devote some energy into two places. And it's kind of like you can't do one. You have to do both of them in order for both of them to grow. You do, Virgo. If you have been planning on making a change or making a career shift or changing your foundations, whatever those foundations may be, you have to put energy into actually making the moves and actually making the change. The change is not going to come unless you do the work behind it, okay? Um... If you are, not if, you guys also have to come into this energy of alignment. You have to come into, you know, lining your physical up with your spiritual and your spiritual up with your physical. 
you have to put energy towards that. You have to meditate. You have to, you know, you don't have to meditate, but like you have to put the energy towards wanting to be aligned. You have to align yourself. Whatever it is that brings you into balance, you're going to have to physically do it to bring yourself into balance. If you want to see this business grow, if you want to see this money change, if you want to see, you know, a different house or you want to see a shift in your relationship, you've got to do the work for the shift to happen. You have to put some energy towards the growth of the things that you want to see play out. They can grow. They've been cultivated. Um, but the thing is, seeds don't sprout unless they're watered. So Virgo, you've got seeds. Y'all always have seeds. Y'all are earth. Listen, y'all always have plans. You've got seeds that need to be watered. And literally during the Scorpio lunar season, the energy that I'm picking up for you is that you do need to water your seeds. And by watering your seeds, you'll come into alignment. Although this is a fire card, the fire action that we're talking about here is watering your seeds. So water them plants so that they can grow up. Make those moves so that you can go down that path towards alignment, okay? There's something that is building for you, something that you're supposed to be coming into, something that's going to be very successful. You have the Ten of Pentacles. You can't get to that Ten of Pentacles energy again without putting in the work. Y'all are an earth sign. Y'all know all about work. So just resonate with your earth energy and get it popping, okay? <laughs> all right. The last card that I have coming up for you, Virgos, in this spread is the Journey card. Um, and this card is, is pretty much what it says. And this is in the position of your soul message. I think this card popping up for you, Virgo, is, uh, is a reminder that, one, there is a journey that you have to travel in order to see the things that you want to work out, work out. But I also think that this card is popping up to tell you that it is okay to stray a little bit from the planning phase. Um, it is okay to understand that you have a goal that you want to see things happen, but it is still okay to live life in the process. Virgo, you guys can be, like I said, y'all are very analytical. Y'all are, uh, are very by the book. You like to see things happen. You can be very successful. But with that being said, y'all are earth. So sometimes y'all lose sight of just kind of enjoying life. It is okay to enjoy the journey along the way. This is a very positive card. This is a journey card. This is a card that's telling you that there is a journey ahead for you. And it will be what you make it. Okay, Virgo? Um, it will be hard if you make it hard. It'll be difficult if you make it difficult. It won't be enjoyable if you decide you want to lend most of your energy on that journey to, you know, not resonating in, in a happy headspace, <laughs> if that makes sense, okay? So anyways, the message for you guys, Virgo, is that you need to be aligned. Anything that's making you feel off, it is okay to remove yourself from it. But at the same time, you also need to be making moves so that you can turn this Son of Wands into an upright position, okay? Um, you've got some change coming in. You've got a destination. You've got a destination and you've got a path and now you've got the energy to move down the path. So you just need to tap into it, okay? All right, Virgo. Hope them cards touch y'all spirits. I <laughs> hope it provided you with some insight. Um, if you feel like you need a little bit more clarity or you like your own personal reading, please feel free to book one with me through my Etsy shop. I do have a link down in the description box below to that. Um, you can also send me an email if you don't see anything on there that you like. Um, if you like this video, go on and give me a little thumbs up down below. I truly appreciate it. If you have any questions or comments, you can drop them down below as well. I do check my channel pretty frequently, so I will respond to you so long as it's positive. Um, if you have any Virgo friends or any friends with Virgo bays, go on and send them this video to help them get their whole lives together. <laughs> um, what else? Like, comment, share. If you're still listening to me talk 18 minutes in, go on and hit that subscribe button so you can keep up with when I put out more 18-minute videos of me talking and reading y'all's lives. <laughs> All right, y'all. Thank you so much for tuning in. Go on and check out all of them videos that I mentioned at the beginning, the retrograde series, the autumn equinox tarot forecast, that new moon and Scorpio video. Had the nine of cups fall out. You are almost there, Virgo. This is a card of wishes come true, things starting to be fulfilled. You just got to put the work in, babies. Put the work in. Um, okay, like, comment, share, subscribe. That is really it. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Watch all them videos that I plugged. And that's it for real, for real. <laughs> Thank you guys for tuning in.